Brothers, for those of you who are watching these Sowing the Faith videos, if you want to be notified every time I post something new, you can subscribe to my channel, click on the notification bell, give a thumbs up and like the video, because you certainly will be greatly blessed. May the Lord God bless you. My friends, now we are going to turn to Romans chapter 3, verse number 20, so that we may study another message from Paul where we need to have the Spirit of God to comprehend. But it's like I say, take hold of what you understand because later God will teach us everything. Because Paul was greatly used by God, so it is written, Therefore, by the deeds of the law, no flesh will be justified in his sight, none of them. There is no way because the person did a thousand good things, but if they sin once, they are a transgressor. This is how the law works. For by the law is the knowledge of sin. Then the person says, oh, wow. But if it wasn't for the law, they wouldn't have sinned yet. But the law came to make better the people who needed to be the people that would bring the word of God to us. Now we live in the times of grace, the law of freedom. So we have nothing to do with the laws of the past, folks. We are in the law of forgiveness, of healing and salvation of the anointing of the Holy Spirit of God. Take a look at a person who believed this truth and was blessed, and I'll be right back. Over a year ago, I got chikungunya and became blind of my right eye, but now I can see normally I'm just Which eye, sister? Thanks be to God. Which eye was blind, sister? My right one. Can you see normally now? Yes, I can see Did now. Did you close your left eye, sister? Close your left eye, sister, the good one. I can see everything. What am I doing? You're waving your hand. Yes, I'm waving my hand. Close your eye one more time, sister. What am I doing now? You're scratching your hand. Glory to God. <laughs> now I want to pray for you, Father. Thank you for the law of freedom. Where, O oh Lord, we have done nothing to deserve this salvation, but we were saved, Lord. But now we cannot do anything that will make our salvation difficult because we have to remain saved persevering till the end. Father, I unite my faith with the faith of these people. I rebuke all the evil from their lives and say, evil, get out and leave them. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Lord, and amen. God bless you.